guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would run a wear test and test the hyped up Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation. Uh, now, I took a poll on Instagram and many of you all said you all wanted the skin shield. It was literally like a cutthroat a poll between the skin shield and the Maybelline Superstay. So, I've decided I will review both the foundations for you all because even I'm interested in both these uh, foundations. And as of now, I don't have many drugstore foundations going on in my collection. So, I'm very interested to see what's out there. So for today, we are talking about the Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation, diving right into what this unicarton looks like. So this is what the unicarton of this foundation looks like. It says Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Oil Control Foundation right here and then there's a full-blown description over here. So this uh, claims it's formulated in Italy. It's an anti-pollution foundation, first of its kind. Make your skin's defense grain strong with Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation. Formulated with triple active action formula and antioxidants, this Hydra based foundation creates a natural shield to protect your skin from the ever increasing city pollution. So it makes a lot of claims, it's also dermatologically tested, no animal testing done, paraben free and 7 other things free which is with most of Nykaa products so I like that the brand because of that. It retails for 7.99 rupees which I think is a little expensive for Nykaa. But uh, because this foundation has so many claims, if it performs and lives up to the expectation, I think it's a fair price. So this foundation is available in 15 shades. Now that's, um, I don't know what to say, it's still a disappointment because uh, there aren't just 15 shades in the Indian market. Brands need to understand, especially Indian brands need to understand that there are so many undertones, so many types of skin colors in the Indian market. And if you live up to everybody's skin color, you will be making so much more business by selling it to everyone. Like I have never wanted to try out or never even had the urge to try out any of Nykaa's foundations before because they only came in like five shades. And I never seemed to find a shade in those colors. I was just like, you know, let it go, let it pass. I don't want, I'm not interested in this launch because they don't make my skin color. This one had 15 shades, so definitely better than five shades. So I felt like, okay, maybe I will be able to find my shade and I went and picked up the shade 13 Foxy Chestnut from their store. I got myself matched and uh, it seemed to be an okay-ish match for me. This is what I'm wearing right now. You all will see me see the foundation in action as we go forward in the video. I just feel they need to really, really work on their shades. Uh, if they get a formula right now, you need to like... and. You know this should not like this should not be told and it should not come later on like you should not include the other skin category people later you should always consider them from before why are we considering fair people from the very beginning when you're making a foundation you start with oh the fairest and then like take it from there and you're not considering the darker skin girls for what possible reason they are equally a part of the market i see dark skin girls they follow me they are going to buy your products and i see this happening with a lot of foundations i just don't understand why when they think of making a foundation they start with the fair category like i feel like they don't even meet up to the very extremes of the fair category or the very extremes of the dark category they just somehow all the brands end up landing in between and they feel like okay this is this is good enough this will retail to 50% of the population and we'll roll with that that should not be the case and if they feel the need later on they will try to include the darker skin girls like why are we a later priority you should include us from the very beginning include every skin tone from the very beginning brands like lacme brands like nykaa you all have been around for a while you all are seeing nykaa is supposed to be like the changing brand the change it's changing the makeup game but you're not changing the makeup game by not including every other skin tone so that's a very big disappointment i just wanted to get this out there i've never said this in any other video uh, about any other foundation or concealer because I don't usually test out uh, foundations and concealers which don't include other skin color girls. I test out mostly like Fenty and Huda and Pack because they seem to include every skin girl. Like Pack is the one brand in India which is accessible to everyone and makes colors skin colors for every single girl. So that's the only reason I love Pack and also their formulas are bomb. So Nykaa, Lakme, Maybelline, you all need to really step up your game. Uh, now I'm just going to keep that topic aside and see the bottle. The main bottle is this. This is a black color with a shade over here. 
shade number is right here all the details which were on the unicarton are in this on this tube so you can throw away the unicarton once you start using it i love the fact it's in a squeezy tube i love foundations in a squeezy tube they're very easy to handle uh not so tough to break so i can throw them around and be rest assured i'm not going to break the bottle and also very convenient to travel with so if this is a good foundation i will be traveling with it a lot if i am going anywhere uh which doesn't seem to be in the chart anytime soon uh but yeah so if you all want to see this foundation in action please keep on watch Okay so I'm going to start with uh priming I've already moisturized my skin I want to give this foundation a fair shot so I'm going to use my Smashbox pore minimizing trusty dusty primer uh taking very little of it and applying in the very same way I always do Okay so to give this foundation a shot by both a brush and a beauty blender just like in all my foundation reviews I do half my face with a beauty blender and half my face with a brush i'm going to take very little at the back of my hand how i already mentioned i love that this foundation comes in a squeezy tube uh so the consistency looks pretty great i don't know if you can tell but it's not very drippy or slippery it's thick and creamy i've taken just like one uh squeeze of this take a little bit on my sponge and dive on the right side of my face I like how the color is suiting me. The coverage is also very fair on the first pump itself. I put it in my cheek region because I have the most scarring in that region and I think I like the coverage quite a lot. It's not very yellow and I like that about this foundation although I have a very prominent yellow undertone. So this was like super easy to blend. I really like everything so far about this foundation. I love the finish of it. because it's blended so seamlessly with a sponge it's taken me less than 1 minute and the finish is like it, it looks a little glowy uh, but it's not very uh, oily you know like i'm oily skin and i hate moisturizing foundations i like a matte finish so it is not like transferring that much it does transfer very little but not that much the coverage i would say is medium to full if i put another pump it would become full coverage i guess i don't like it around my mouth area so i'm going to try another pump of foundation over here and see how it layers so i'm going to try another pump i had not taken that much of the foundation so i'm again taking very little to see how it layers okay guys so far so good it's a very lightweight foundation it's not something very uh heavy or cakey and i think for this weather i think it would be a real nice choice i love how this is feeling i don't know why but i wasn't expecting to love it that much i thought it would be very very sheer like their other foundation which they came out with the skin sh this is the skin shield which was the other one i don't remember the exact name but i know there's another foundation in their line and that was very very sheer for my liking this is somewhat of a good coverage the pigmentation on the foundation is amazing but the the lightweight feel the feel like i'm feeling like i'm not put anything it's just like a tint so oh i love it let's try it with a brush so once again i'll take like the same amount on the back of my hand this is a general foundation kabuki brush again on my scars first yeah it's definitely covering more with a brush than it would with a sponge I need another pump because I've not been able to cover my forehead and neck with the brush so I'm taking going in again So for the brush side I didn't really see a difference I don't see a difference in the finish of the blending and the time taken by the brush side I think was just a tad bit more because I don't have that much practice with a brush uh, and foundation I use a sponge more often Uh, the feel of the foundation and the finish and everything looks exactly the same to me the blending wasn't tough with a brush so if you like a brush i don't think it should make a big difference to you i can actually not tell any difference it's just that this area looks a little more sheer to me than this uh because a brush will provide more full coverage and i also ended up using more product with a brush than i did with the sponge side of it so this is more sheer more natural because My scars are like seeping through. I don't think you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell on person in person. 
uh, this side or oh, everything is like properly covered because I went in with another layer so uh, this is where the finish compares to it now uh, looking in the viewfinder I feel like I look a little grey so I don't know if this is an HD foundation it does not claim to be anywhere does not say it photographs well or anything it's more like an everyday foundation so in the mirror I like how my skin looks I like that it's matching my neck so well I didn't have to put too much in this region I like the finish I love the lightweight feel I want to powder go with concealer and everything and see how products layer on it and then get back to y'all but I don't think it's a very camera friendly foundation as of now but let's see so for concealer I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and we'll just breeze through these steps So with the concealer blended, do you all feel like my skin looks weird? I don't know. I won't know till I see the footage. But somehow I don't like how my concealer sits on this foundation. I don't know if I'm crazy for saying that because I don't. I like the blending. I don't like the color of my skin right now. Like my under eyes and all look fine because this concealer is my eye or die and it's an HD concealer. But like this area for camera. It's not very camera friendly, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I won't know till I see the footage of this video. So, you guys tell me how do you all feel my skin looks. You'll see me in every tutorial. Now, tell me how my skin looks with this foundation. Uh, so, I'm going to take a little bit of the powder on my sponge and just go bake my concealer in. gonna let my powder bake, do the rest of my face makeup and be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've thrown on a little blush bronzer highlight and uh, this lipstick is MAC Taupe. I will mention the details of the rest of my makeup in the description section. Uh, so far, I like the finish of the foundation. I love the lightweight, the comfortable uh, wear of the foundation. The blending was amazing, seamless. Everything layered well on the foundation. There was no problem in all of that. The only thing I don't like is that it's not an oxidizing foundation, it's not getting red and orange as m the more I wear it. It's more grey and muddy. I don't know if the camera picks it up but I feel like I look very muddy even in the camera. And in person too it's more grey looking than it is uh, more orange. Uh, if it was an oxidizing foundation I tend to look more red, more like an oopa loopa but uh, this is making me look more muddy. Uh, so I don't like that about the foundation. So for me, as of now, the way it's wearing, the uh, comfortable feel, the blendability, all of that is spot on. There is, are more claims that this foundation makes. It says it's pollution free and oil control and all of that. So to test all of that, I'm going to run a wear test. I have to go to the mall, get some stuff for myself and for my house and also uh, meet a few friends so I'll be out of the house for quite a lot of time. It is around 2.45 right now so I'll be going out around 5ish and then I'll check in with you all around 7. So let's see how this foundation wears because that's the whole point of it that is it oil control and is it pollution free and all of those beautiful claims it makes. Whereas the hydration part of this is, I very much uh, agree with that. It is feeling very moisturizing, not at all very scratchy or dry or, or overly matte that you know my skin is feeling crackly. None of that is a problem as of now. So I agree with the hydration point of view. Let's see if I can agree with the rest. Hi guys, so I'm checking in from my phone. It's 610, so it's what? Three and a half hours later. Uh, like you can tell the foundation is holding up really well. It's not cracked or separated in any of the regions It is not really oil control because you can see like this is all my sweat and it is seeping through I've, ju I've not yet gone out anywhere. I just went by auto and to my aunt's place and came back so it's not really like I don't know what the meaning of an anti-pollution foundation it, it it's basically going, going to protect my skin I guess uh, so that I won't really be able to test out because it's not like uh, gotten worse in the um, outside weather or it's it's like this much sweat is okay for me because like I sweat like a pig so uh, this much I think is fine I'm not gonna bash the foundation because of that so far so good it's not like separated in these regions my nose is also holding up well not cracked anywhere three and a half hours check in okay you guys so I'm like exhausted it's nine o'clock so I've given this foundation a fair shot of six and a half seven hours 
uh, and one thing I can definitely tell you that it's a great everyday foundation not once in my day did I feel like oh my god I'm wearing foundation I need to take this makeup off you know like sometimes it just feels so heavy on your face so not once did I feel that way it's a great foundation for everyday purpose even after 7 hours you can see it's not that full coverage but it's definitely a nice foundation which has not separated in any region my blush also lasted very long on this my highlight has lasted long everything looks good and whereas the oil control factor of this goes uh, I feel it's not um, sweat proof like I was sweating through this foundation definitely but my skin doesn't look as shiny as it normally would now the, you would say that it's because of the Laura Mercier powder but I use my Laura Mercier with a lot of other foundations and I do get very very oily because I am like super oily so it has controlled my oils so as of now I do really really like this foundation even if I'm trying I'm not able to pick any flaws like major flaws so the only two flaws I can actually if I try to pick out one is the horrible shade range and the other thing is that it's not a HD foundation not in any way shape or form can you think about wearing this foundation and going out for a photo shoot so since it's like $7.99 I expected it to give us both give us like the everyday feel as well as the HD feel which is the case with the NYX foundation and the L'Oreal Matte Magic which is like sadly discontinued I don't know why L'Oreal would do that but uh, all of that kept aside if you don't think about the price range if you're an everyday office college girl who just wants a little bit of foundation and you just want to blend it with your hands because this was easy to blend AF like it just blended like this so you want something quick on the go uh, fairly affordable you can definitely invest in this if you tend to find your shade so for now I think that is it that is my complete honest review wear test uh, everything in front of you you can see how this is performing uh, I've actually worn my helmet today and I did give it a proper pollution test because I was on my bike so um, even with the helmet it's not like rubbed off from my forehead so like the transferring of this is spot on it does not transfer it like sinks well into your skin so all of that and since it's so lightweight it's not even like creased in any of my smile lines and all of that so I do like it I really really like the foundation I will wear it I asked my mother if she likes like how I'm looking I asked Kainat I asked Sonia, I asked Chanel, so everybody thought it was a nice foundation, so I got good response. So far, so good. Uh, I will update you on if there is any change in my review. Uh, so follow me on Instagram if you want to know any update about how I feel. Subscribe to my channel so you know uh, as and when I use this foundation more in the upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to click on that uh, big red bell. Oh uh, no, the bell is not red. A uh, big bell button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, love y'all.